I V M. Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast, the bite-sized podcast filled with quick and easy actionable habits. Remember, great habits create that awesome life. I am Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach. And today's fun fact of the day has to do with churches. Did you know that one of the most famous monuments in Spain is an unfinished church called the Basilica de Sagrada Familia? And this is one of my most favorite stories about artistic genius. The construction of the Sagrada Familia was started in 1882, and in 1883, the chief architect was replaced, and Antoni Gaudi took over. He had this amazing, complicated style of architecture. The designs he envisaged were beyond belief. You look at some of his work and you wonder how did the human brain come up with that? The design he created was so incredibly complex that the church would never be completed in his lifetime. He died in 1926, but the construction of the church went on. And as a tribute to him, the plan was to complete the church in 2026, a full century, a hundred years after Gaudi's death. But it looks like that will get delayed further because of the last two years. Now, the amazing thing I observe from this story is the sheer ingenuity of the human mind, the power, and the ability that it has to create. You see, every single man-made thing around you was once an idea. All of science, all of art, all of music, all of it started as an idea. But before it was an idea, it is what I like to call an idea seed. An idea. That is not completely formed. Something that we so easily can overlook. Something that could fall from our hands and get wasted. Something that we would not even notice was there. And our minds are full of these idea seeds. These seeds come from things that we read, things that we see, and conversations that we have with people. Idea seeds are constantly being formed and lost in our minds. The really successful people. Are the ones that know how to germinate these idea seeds. They know the right kind of conditions needed for that idea to grow. The right fertile soil, the right amount of water, the right amount of sunlight. And as your habit coach, I want you to grow all your idea seeds into big, beautiful, strong ideas. So let me start by telling you the ideal conditions for idea seeds. It starts by having a fertile mind. A mind that is free of distractions, free to focus all its resources on this baby seed. Think about your life and your mind. Is it fertile? Is it full of distractions? Full of weeds of self-doubt? Wasted resources on things that distract you and steal your attention? Remove these distractions from your life and create that fertile soil for your ideas. And just like you give plant water, in the same way you give your ideas seeds attention, just the right amount of it. If you give your idea too much attention, you become obsessed with it, and it rots and dies. If you give it too little attention, it starves and dies. So you have to learn just the right amount of attention needed. Finally, you need to expose your idea to sunlight, and this means you need to share your idea with people. We often hide our ideas out of fear of being judged, of fear of our ideas being stolen. However, if we keep everything a secret and never share our ideas with others, the idea seed dies. When we share an idea, now we have two minds thinking of it. The ability for that idea to grow increases dramatically. So the trick here is to choose the right kind of people to share the idea with. If we are surrounded by yes men who agree with everything. The idea dies. If we are surrounded by people who constantly trample our dreams, the idea dies. You have to share these seeds with the right kind of supportive people. If you don't have them, I suggest you find these people now. You see, each seed has the ability to transform into a tree bearing fruits for you. The question is, do you know how to let it grow? So your super simple habit starts by not losing these idea seeds. Recognize them. And plant them into your mind. Then give them the right amount of attention, not too much, not too little. Make sure that they get exposed to other people so that they can help you. Again, if they're negative people, the seeds will wither away. And if they're just yes men, the seeds will burn and die. Plant the seed and give it the right environment. Then watch it grow. And very often, the ideas you created will outlive you. They will be nurtured by others long after you're gone. 
And as one of my father's most favorite quotes says, we often plant seeds for trees that our children will play under. Just like Gaudi and his basilica. Usually in a podcast, it's me who speaks to you and you who listens. But I've been seeing your comments and it's time. It's me listening to you. Following the overwhelming success of this podcast, the good folks at IVM Podcast Network have decided to come up with a Kannada adaptation of the show for those who prefer listening to it in that language. Do make sure you let your Kannada speaking friends know about this as well. Now, if you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IVM Network. You can listen to us on the IVM Podcast app or ivmpodcast.com. You can also follow us on social media. We are at IVM Podcasts on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, I am at Ashton Doc on Twitter and Instagram. We have a brand new habit coaching online course, quizzes, videos, and a lot more on the website awesome180.com. So check it out now. Hello everyone, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcasts Network. On IVM Likes, Jalasmi, Vinay, Sumit and Snehil fawn over Shah Rukh Khan and his 30-year-long career. On Don Bai Ka Gappa Aika, Aparna and Avanti explore the difficulties women face at the workplace. On Audio Gyan, Kedar talks to Jayasimha Chandrasekhar, founder of Atelier Prati, about printmaking. On Press Decode, Sara, Vagda and Prafula discuss free speech in the light of Mohammed Zubair's arrest. And on Postcards from Nowhere, Utsaf takes us through the stunning decline of the Irish language. We've got some exciting news for you. IVM Podcast has just launched its merch and our first line is out now. Head to the IVM Podcast's website and click on the Shop tab to check out our first collection of t-shirts. Do follow us on social media via IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter, do tell a friend. Also, don't forget to rate us on any platforms that you're listening on. And you can also check us out on YouTube. We're also doing a small listener survey to better understand how you respond to our shows and advertising on the network. We would really appreciate if you could spare a few minutes to fill it. It helps us build better shows for you. And finally, we would like to thank our sponsors this week. Cap Gemini, Intel Vpro, and Intel Future Banana Wonderful with Intel powered laptops. There's a quick survey to fill out on ivmpodcast.com/survey. It lets us know a little bit more about who's listening to us. And you know what? We're going to do a few prizes. So I mean like we'll do a random drawing of like maybe 10 people and we'll send you all some swag. Remember, that's ivmpodcast.com/survey where you can fill out the survey.